Uh, number five says something a fraction. I think it says 0 0.16 bar in here as a fraction. So let me um, let me do that for us. So it's number five. So it says I think I want I think the question's cut off here, but I think I want 0 0.16 bar as a fraction. So there's actually two ways to think about this problem here. There's two ways to think about this problem in the sense that uh, there's one way where it's kind of the uh, memorization way, you know, or the root or the uh, the route kind of way, or sorry, route. And I'm going to call this the route method. Where this is, oh, sorry, that kind of looks like an end here. The route method. And there was another one where you can use algebra. That's what um, the solution that they did here um, first. So let me just walk you through the solution and I'll show you what my memorization method here is. And, or maybe I'll more, more so I'll write down what you would need to kind of memorize for, fra for common fractions as decimals here. So it says here, x, let x here equal 0 0.16. And then you would get, um, and you would multiply this equation by 10 to get, um, to get kind of uh, our decimal here. Um, to be, uh, well, you would basically multiply both sides by 100. I don't even have to do multiply here by 10 here. Um, so basically you have, here, let me write this down for you. So this is for number number two here. So this is step one, step two, and I'm going to analyze step two first here. So if I have x here equals 0 0.16, and then if I'm multiplying, if I multiply here by both sides, I would get both sides by 100. I would move this decimal twice here. So I'd get 16 point and then six bar, right? Remember the six, the six bar just means that it is uh, repeating here. And then what I would have here is basically I'm making two equations here, right? So I can multiply again, this here, x equals one, six, sorry. Oops, uh, one, six. And then I'm multiplying by 10 by both sides here to get 1.6 here. And basically uh, what we're doing here is we're subtracting, um, so we're, we're doing a substitution, right? So we're subtracting equation one from equation two. So we have, uh, I'm basically right here, this is one, this is two. Subtract one from two here, or sorry, in this case, it'd be two from one. So I have a hundred X, minus 10x equals 16.6 .6 bar minus 1.6 bar here. And this here would give me, again, 100 minus 10 here would give me 90x. 1.6, 16.6 uh, .6 minus 1.6 here would give me simply just 15, and they cancel out here. And then I would simply divide both sides by 90, right? So x equals 15 over 90, which is, therefore, if you reduce this to lowest terms, I can divide both uh, the numerator and the denominator by 5, I would get... Um, oh, I think they both divide by 15, actually. I don't think it's 5 here. If I divide here by 15, divide here by 15, I would get 1 over 6. And this here is my fraction, right? So therefore, 1 over 6 here is indeed my fraction for this uh, for this problem here. So 0 0.16 bar would equal 1 over 6. Uh, my first kind of method here is the memorization method. So I, I kind of encourage this method, especially in the younger grades, just because... Uh, these fractions and decimals are very, very common here. So when I say the memorization method, I'm kind of just writing down uh, a list of fractions that you probably need to know. So we know that uh, one, uh, so we know one over one here is one, right? This here, oh, that's one, sorry. One over one here is one. Uh, we know that one over two, one over two here is 0 0.5. Another common fraction is one over three. And one over one three here is 0 0.3 bar here. And we're just saying, remember, 0 0.3 bar just means it's repeating, right? So this is 0 0.33333, and then basically continues on to infinity here. One over three, and then one over four would be, we know one over four is a quarter, right? So we know it's quarters or 25 cents. And then one over five here is one fifth, or this would be 0 0.2. Again, 0 0.2 times 5 here equals 1, right? And the 1 over 6 here would be my the one that I just solved for. So 0 0.16 bar. And as you can see, there's kind of a there's kind of a um, 
relationship to the step, right? I'm going from one to half to one third to one fourth to one fifth to one sixth, right? Then so you see, if you look at the decimals here, they're going down, right? One, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.25, 0 0.2, 0 0.21 or one six here. Um, and these are kind of the decimals I would highly, uh, highly get you to memorize just because they're very, very, very common. And with these decimals, they also come uh, the other counterparts, right? So you have one third here. I can also memorize two thirds, one fourth. I can memorize also uh, three fourths. One fifths has two fifths, three fifths, and four fifths. And the one sixth also has um, five over six as well. And these here are basically, uh, again, fractions you should probably try to memorize just because they're very, very commonly used here. So if you say solution here is correct, good analysis.